any change ladies at halftime? Open things up if you had change in there? Um, not really. I mean, we just kind of stuck to our same game, game plan. And I, um, I mean, they kind of changed a little bit. You know, they kind of knew what we were trying to do with their zone. And I think they defended us really well. But um, I think we're just such a kind of a tight team and we know where people are going to be. So I feel like even with good defenses, usually we've got enough, like, kind of playmakers and enough shooters that we can kind of create and manage to still get open shots. But um, on the offensive, I mean, on the defensive end, we didn't really, I think, change too much. We tried to do the same things, obviously. We didn't really want Taj Kelly to kind of go off on us like that after I think she only averages 4.7 points a game or something. So um, we just kind of have to lock up on those things and hopefully improve the next few games. They shot the ball pretty well. Um, what, 52% there, was about 38. A bunch of those were in the paint. Did you know any defensively change? Because they got a lot of easy looks in the first half. Uh, yeah, you know, we know that 33 is a good shooter. and. Um, 24 so I think we just have to make sure that we know personnel and you know 33 we just can't leave her at all you know we kind of pretty much have to face guard her and not let her get open shots and then we just gotta honestly we just gotta play personnel and, and I think we'll be okay. Kelly Bitch you know strength has always been with Chris Bitch has always been strength this team six players from double figures tonight that's you know that's that's pretty I think um, it's a really big strength for us because you know a lot of teams might have one player that they just depend on them and then if they get stopped then what are they going to do but and we do have players that could do that on any other team but with our team we are so balanced and any given night anyone can go off that you know if you want to try and stop us you're going to have to stop all five people on this court because everyone's a threat which is a big strength at this time of the year. So your second game without uh, Ty how are you making any adjustments uh, to not having her on the court, or how is it playing without her? I mean, it's gonna, it's a little bit difficult. You know, she's kind of that strength, and she's, you know, if times get tough, she's usually kind of like the little bulldog that kind of goes, all right, let's take over, and she kind of goes and gets a few scores or a few stops. And I think, and she also averages like seven rebounds a game, so we kind of have to make up for those, um, those rebounds. And I think we're doing all right. You know, if we can kind of come through these next two weeks and still play strong without her, I think then having her come back in, we're going to be an even stronger team. So I think, you know, we're just kind of dealing with the adversity right now and we'll be fine. And you guys were pretty good on the board tonight, Kelly. You had seven. Uh, ball bouncing your way or was it something special? I mean, I was trying to box out, make sure I had my player box first, and I guess sometimes the ball will bounce your way. But I'm trying to work on um, get my person box and then going and find, finding the ball. But it helps when it bounces. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's probably not a... Uh, major goal but to get to 20 wins what does that mean you know we're still a couple weeks left maybe month or so in the season yeah I mean the last two years we've got one short so it's kind of nice to get there this year and still have a few games to spare so I mean I think that just shows that um, you know our coaching staff they kind of the ones that got us here you know they kind of pushed us and you know straight away her first year we got 19 wins and I've got to say that's a good kind of achievement achievement for a first uh, year coach kind of thing so you know that's more of a credit to them I think and them getting us prepared to play well as well. Well, you're in a pretty good spot. You're, you have what, four league games left, and you're sitting in first place. It doesn't get any better than that. No, I mean, it's it's a good achievement for us too, but even at this time of the year, we can still improve things. You know, we got to, we, I think there's still some big areas where we can work on, and um, we're going to have to work on them if we want to, you know, win this uh, Summer League Championship. No game this weekend. Can you guys get a bye for the first time in a long time? What's the plan with the mic for the next days? Uh, we still have practice. Yeah, uh, coach is trying to get us yeah, prepared to you know play back-to-back -back games. Uh, so I think that's a smart move. And uh, you know we've got what now like almost a week to our next game. So we'll have a couple days practice, and then we'll have a couple days off. So I mean we've still got enough time to get our bodies right.